Welcome to Team Tip Tuesday, demonstrating everyday life skills. The more we know, the better we live. Brought to you by OSU Extension. Hi, my name is Kelly Lemley. I'm the Family Consumer Science Educator at Champaign County OSU Extension Office. And today's tips for teens is how to jumpstart a car battery. If your battery has died, you may be able to jumpstart it by using a jump starter. Jump starters are becoming very popular and are easily portable and can be stored in the trunk of your vehicle. If you do not have a portable jump starter, then you will need another vehicle and jumper cables to jumpstart your dead battery. It's a good idea to have a set of jumper cables and keep them in the trunk. With both vehicles turned off, look at both batteries and identify the positive, the plus sign, terminal marked red. Connect one of the red positive jumper cable clamps to the dead battery's red positive post. Connect the other red jumper cable clamp to the good battery's red positive post. Connect the negative clamp, which is the black handle, on the same end of the jumper cables to the black negative post of the good battery. Warning, never let the positive and negative jumper cable clamps touch when the other end of the cables are connected to a battery. Doing so can generate sparks. Connect the other negative black cable to the clean, unpainted metal surface under the disabled vehicle's hood. Do not connect the negative post of the dead battery as it can result in an explosion. Once you have the clamps, secured in the correct positions, start the good vehicle. Allow it to run for around five minutes with the jumper cables connected. Then attempt to start the disabled vehicle. If your vehicle starts, remove the cables and allow the vehicle to run for 10 to 15 minutes to recharge your battery. 